today I'm gonna be showing you the best chocolate chip banana bread recipe ever. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Yelena and I'm a stay-at-home mom who makes a lot of lifestyle motherhood kind of videos here on YouTube. I like to do a lot of like cleaning, cooking videos, and just like mommy motivational kind of videos. So if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any videos from me. So today I'm showing you guys my famous chocolate chip banana bread recipe. This recipe I thought would be perfect for Thanksgiving if you're thinking of really good ideas for dessert for Thanksgiving for tomorrow. And this is so easy and quick and I know your family will absolutely love it. I've been making this recipe for years and I make it every Thanksgiving and it's just always been a hit and it's literally so easy and it tastes so delicious. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make my famous secret chocolate chip banana bread recipe and let's get started. So to make it easier on you guys, I like to lay everything out on the counter that I'm gonna use and then I'll start actually using it instead of running back and forth and trying to grab everything. So you're gonna need some baking soda, some measuring cups, oops, um, you're gonna need one of these and then a bowl and a whisk you need some butter some salt eggs and then vanilla flavor vanilla extract you need some cinnamon I got some my sweet chocolate chips you need flour and I'm using brown sugar and then also ripe bananas so that's all you need and then we're gonna set the oven to and preheat it to 350 start okay so what I like to do is I like to mix all the dry ingredients first and then I kind of add on all the rest of this stuff so we're gonna do two cups of flour so my, my flour already making a mess So one, that was literally perfect, two cups. Okay, so two cups of flour, and then one cup of brown sugar. Usually people use um, just regular white sugar, but I like to use brown sugar just because it's a little, I feel like it's better for you. So you're gonna use one cup of brown sugar. It's organic brown sugar Trader Joe's. And then we're gonna do one teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of baking soda. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Salt. And then half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we're gonna add two eggs. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a half of a cup of butter. You can melt the butter in the microwave. Uh, mine is pretty soft just from sitting out. So I'm just gonna add it in here with a spoon and I don't have to microwave it. So it's pretty soft, I can mix it in. But you can, if yours is really hard butter, you can um, 
you can so if you have like a stick of butter you can either put a whole stick of butter in there or you you can do one half cup of butter and it should definitely be melted or like pretty much melted because it's gonna make it easier and then we're gonna add three or four bananas and they have to be pretty ripe so i'm gonna first mix all this stuff up and then we'll add the bananas so it looks like this let's go ahead and mix it up so i'm gonna add my bananas i'm adding four of them but you can add three or four and they should be pretty ripe because it's just a lot easier whenever they are ripe and I feel like it tastes better when they're ripe so it's easier to kind of like mix them in alright time to mix this in All right, so this part is kind of hard. You really have to mix it really well. Um, make sure all the little banana chunks are out. If you have a mixer, I would recommend it, but um, you don't need one. I never use a mixer. So your bananas have to be like pretty ripe to do this. Otherwise, another thing that I usually do if the bananas are not ripe enough is just stick the bananas in a blender and just blend them up really well. So this part is so easy then you just mix or put it to the mixture of all the other dry ingredients and it's so easy. Otherwise you have like chunks of bananas. Take my whisk and try to do it that way too. All right. Now we're gonna add chocolate chips, the best part. I usually add about a cup of chocolate chips, so not too many. And these are the semi-sweet ones, so I feel like they have less sugar and all that stuff in them. Chocolate chips. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. All the chocolate chips, you guys. Wow. This in here. So the oven is preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the pan with some nonstick cooking spray. Just so it doesn't stick to there. And then we're gonna go ahead and start to pour it in the pan. Banana bread is ready to go in the oven for about 45 to 50 minutes but I like to check it after 30 minutes I just start checking it a little bit just to make sure it's rising well and it's done so yeah let's put it in the oven it's done So banana bread is done and what I usually like to do, I'm out of toothpicks but if you guys, um, if this is maybe your first time making banana bread, if you have a toothpick, toothpick go ahead and put it down the middle and just to see if it still um, needs to bake a little bit longer. That's what I usually like to do but I've done this so many times already so I can pretty much tell that it's done. Um, it was in there for exactly 45 minutes, that's usually long enough but if yours is not it just depends. If yours is not like this color yet, I would put it in for a little bit longer. But I can usually tell whenever mine is done. It looks so good. I'm so excited to give this to my husband and my toddler. I'm sure they're gonna love it. I definitely recommend letting this sit for quite some time. Probably 
at least 30 minutes just so it kind of cools down and then you can go ahead and cut it or serve it but oh my gosh i'm so excited and it made the house smell so good it just smells amazing so yeah this looks so good i can't wait to just cut it and serve it and it's definitely going to be a great thanksgiving dessert I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed making chocolate chip banana bread with me. I love this recipe and have made it for years. So I know you and your family will also love it, especially tomorrow during Thanksgiving. If you're just looking for like a really quick dessert recipe, this one is delicious and it's definitely going to be a hit in your family. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have an amazing Thanksgiving if you celebrate it with your family. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.